So um, let's test the following series. Summation n equals to one to infinity one by n to the four plus e to the n for convergence or divergence. So let me first write down the few steps. So it's going to be one upon one plus e plus one upon one plus e square plus one upon So this is 16, right? Two to the power of four is 16. So 16 e square, and it's gonna be 81 plus e to the three and so on and so forth. So does this converge? At least let's, does this converge? Now, if you look limit as n goes to infinity of a n, you get, this is zero. So, but still, this is not enough. This doesn't say anything, right? This does not mean anything, right? Mean that it will converge. Right, why is that recall summation one by n diverges even if so even when you have limit as n goes to infinity of one by n is zero. So even if the limit of an is zero, then it may converge or may diverge, right? But for sure, if the limit is non-zero, then you know that it's gonna diverge. But here we don't, we do not get anything really by doing this because limit as n goes to infinity of an is zero, but doesn't gives us anything. So often what we'll try to do is in this case, Again, integral test doesn't seem very likely to me because you'll have one by x to the four plus e to the x. Integral of that seems to be very tedious. So we'll try to do a comparison. So often what we do is we'll try, so often we'll compare with known series. So there are two type of series we already have a good grip on. So what are the series we have good grip on? One is a P series, right? So a P series, we already know the convergence pattern. So P series summation n equals to one to infinity one by n to the power p converges if p is greater than one. So that is one series. Now the second series we have a grip on is basically a geometric series, right? So we also understand geometric series completely. Why, what do we can understand about it? We have summation r to the power n minus one converges if absolute value of r is less than one. Yeah. And again, as you see, we have restricted ourselves to finding whether it converges or diverges rather than finding the sum. So that is helped by the following test, which is called comparison test. So the comparison test says the following, if you have summation n equals to one to infinity of a n and summation n equals to infinity of b n, these are series with each term being positive, all right? For all n, then if summation b n converges, so if the smaller one, so in some sense you have, although this is not mathematically correct way to write it, you have summation a n less than equal to summation b n, right? So if this bigger one converges, then the smaller one has to converge, right? And if the smaller one diverges, then the bigger one has to diverge. Okay. So this is what the comparison test is. You can also think about it in the following sense. So suppose you have, so BN, so if you look at summation BN, so if you look at summation BN, so this is your summation BN is going to be bigger than summation AN, right? So this is your summation a n, this is your summation b n, and this is a sequence, right? You're basically looking at sequence of partial sums. So say summation b n, n equals to one to k, n equals to one to k. 
So if you look at the partial sums, what happens is that it's bounded above by L and summation A n is increasing. So if B n, so we have summation B n is less than summation A n. So if, if this converges, then automatically this converges by monotone sequence test. So now we can test whether the following series converges or not. So now suppose you want to show that it converges. If it is converges, then you want to show that it's less than or equal to some known series, that each term is less than or equal to some known series which converges, right? A series which converges. If you want to show that it diverges, I mean, it can't happen both ways, but it, it's either one of them. Then we have to show that this is greater than or equal to some divergent series. Some, some a n where, or some a n where a n diverges, summation a n diverges. So you see, you have to already decide your strategy in advance, whether it's going to converge or it's going to diverge because you have to choose whether you want to show it less than equal to something or you want to show that it's greater than equal to something, right? So for that, the easy guideline is the following. You look at the highest. So if you look at the following, you can clearly see that it's roughly like one by n to the power four. And we know that summation one by n to the four converges. Why? Because P equals to four is greater than one. Since P equals to four is greater than one and and by P series test. So that is the test we want to exploit here. Okay, so let's see. So how do we go about it? We have one by n to the four plus e to the n. This is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to one by n to the power four. Right, if you make denominator smaller, the number becomes bigger, right? So that's one way of looking at it. Other way also, you could have seen, you could have seen it this way, that you have e to the n plus n to the four is greater than or equal to n to the four. So one by e to the n plus n to the four is less than or equal to one by n to the four, right? When you take a reciprocal, they get the sign switch. All right, so what do we get out of this? So now we have this scenario. So it satisfies the first part of the gig. What is that? That a n is less than or equal to b n. So we have made it less than b n. And note that summation one by n to the four n equals to one to infinity converges. Yeah. Why does it converges? P series with p equals to four greater than one. So we are using p series test with p equals to four greater than one. Therefore, summation n equals to one to infinity, one by n to the four plus e to the n converges. And the reason for that is comparison test. Okay, so this is how it works. Now note that we could have done another comparison if you wanted, we could have compared it with we could have also done the comparison with because this is a geometric series. Yeah, this will since since summation one by e to the n is a geometric is a convergent is a geometric series. With r equals to one by e less than one, right? So therefore, this this series also converges. This geometric series converges. So you could have used either one of them. That's fine. All right. Okay. Now let's move on to the next problem. So here we are done. So therefore, by by. So this is where the proof is done. Let's move on to the next problem. So when applying the comparison test, you can often use geometric series or P series. So those are the two things we can use. Right. 
So let's look at the following. Um, before we do this, let's do another example. So suppose I have summation one by n cube plus n square plus n plus one. So I want to decide already in advance whether the series will converge or not. So look at the highest power of n, it comes with a power three. So this series is going to converge. So all we have to do is find out a proper series to compare it with. So note that you have zero and this is going to be less than or equal to one by n cube. Actually, it's going to be strictly less than n cube, but less than or equal to is correct as well. And what do we know? So we have this, but summation one by n cube converges y again p series with p equals to three which is greater than one therefore what therefore summation one by n cube plus n square plus n plus one converges yeah and what is the justification comparison test So we'll see some more example. Let's look at one more example. Before I do this problem, how about we look at the following example on the side here. How about summation n equals to two to infinity one by ln n. So note that um, ln n grows slower than n so you can think about it as a ln n is like a polynomial of n power of n but less than one okay so this is a rough idea behind it so note that you have ln n is less than n for n greater than or equal to two and it's also positive right so therefore we get one by ln n is greater than one by n, right? Which is greater than zero, all right? So therefore, but what we have, but summation one by n diverges, why? Harmonic series or P series with P test with P equals to what? With P equals to one. Therefore, summation one by ln n, n equals to two to infinity. And the justification for that is comparison test. All right, so this is the comparison test. Now let's look at the next problem here. We have summation n equals to one to infinity of one by n factorial, which is one by one factorial plus one by two factorial plus one by three factorial, so on and so forth. And we want to see whether it converges or not. So this one is, you can't fit in with what, you can't really write away, we can't really compare it with no, any known series. At least it's not clear what series shall be compared with. So um, let's see uh, what kind of comparison can we do. So uh, notice the following, that actually, if you look at this definition, this is same as definition, you know, this you will see very soon when we are looking at Taylor series, that summation n equals to zero to infinity of one by n factorial is actually defined to be e. Yeah, so from there you can see that this is going to be convergent. But suppose we don't have that information either. Yeah. So here we have to do approximation. So notice the following. So summation n equals to one to infinity. We have one by n factorial. So what is one by n factorial? So one by n factorial is going to be, what is n factorial? n factorial is n into n minus one into n minus two dot 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 two times one. 
So now we want to understand. So notice that the following n factorial is going to be n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 dot 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 1 sorry 2 then 1. Now note that you will have that n is so this is going to be bigger than the first element is 2. Next element would be also bigger than it's 3 is also going to be bigger than 2. Then so is the next element going to be bigger than 2. n minus 1 is also going to be bigger than 2. So all these elements are bigger than 2. So it's actually greater than or equal to what? 2 to the power n minus 1. So you see, we have done this approximation now. Now this would mean 1 by n factorial is less than or equal to 1 by is going to be less than or equal to 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1. And this is greater than or equal to 0. Now, what about this guy? So let's investigate this one here now. 1 by 2 to the n minus 1, n going from 1 to infinity is a geometric series, right? With, with what? With r equals to half, which is what? With absolute value of r, well, r is also half less than one. Therefore, summation n equals to one to infinity, one by two to the n minus one converges. This implies summation n equals to one to infinity of one by n factorial converges. And again, what is the justification? Justification here is comparison test. So this is the setup. So now what we want to do is we want to have another test which is called limit comparison test. Now why is that? Sometimes it's hard to basically make it less than known series. Yeah. Yeah, so it's hard to basically make it compare it with known series. So what we'll do is we'll try to come up with a new test and the new test is uh, what is called as the comparison test, the limit comparison test. So limit comparison test, you basically have to compare it with known series, but in a slightly different way. So the idea is the following. Again, you're given summation an and summation bn, and the series are only with the positive terms. If limit then goes to infinity of an by bn is c, then if this c is a finite number, that is important, and c is positive, then either both series will converge or both will diverge. This is what is called as limit comparison test. So what we need to do is we need to find out. So suppose we want to have this series. We want to check the, we want to compare this series. So what we'll do is uh, we want to find out. So if this is my AN, then I need to find out BN. So we want to compare it with some known series. So the idea is what you do is you basically look at the highest power of term of numerator and denominator. So you are roughly going to compare it with 3n square upon n to the 4, which is roughly going to be what 3 by n square. So take your bn to be, so take summation bn to be, so bn is 3 by n square or you can even take 1 by n square. Yeah, constants are fine. So bn equals to this, so let's take limit of n goes to infinity of a n over b n. This is going to be limit as n goes to infinity. Although I did not check, I should have checked that these are the series with positive terms and that is clear, all right? But still that needs to check, be checked because 
Otherwise, you cannot apply the limit comparison test. So what is an? An is 3n squared plus n upon n to the 4 plus square root of n. And dividing by bn is same as multiplying by the reciprocal of it. So multiplying it by n squared by 1. Now we need to divide top and bottom by n to the 4 to find this limit. So you will see that you get 3 plus 1 by n, 1 plus, when you divide cube root of n by, so you will get 1 upon n to the power uh, 4, so 2 times 4 is so 7 by 2. And it then goes to infinity. These guys go to 0. So you get this is equal to C. And this is your C. C is C is greater than 0 and is a finite number. Right? Right? So since, so therefore, what both C's converge. Converge or both diverge. Why? Because this is the statement of limit comparison test, right? This is what limit comparison test guarantees us. Now, note that so, but what about BN? So, summation BN is summation n equals to 1 to infinity of 1 by n square and that converges yeah why p series test with p equals to what with p equals to 2 which is greater than 1 and therefore we have therefore summation a n or our summation 3 n to the square plus n upon n to the 4 plus square root of n converges. So again, we want to find a series which will compare it with, we'll basically will compare with this guy here. And of course, n should have started with something bigger than 1 because ln 1 is 0. So that's fine too. You could have started with one, that's okay. So here we'll compare it with what? One by two n or we'll compare it with one by n. So we have bn equals to one by n. Now, this is your a n by the way, right? So this is your, this is your a n. So now let's compute limit as n goes to infinity of a n over b n that is going to be limit as n goes to infinity of dividing by b n is same as multiplying by the reciprocal so n upon 2 n plus ln n this is going to be limit as n goes to infinity 1 upon 2 plus ln n by n now here if you use lapidal's rule you'll see that Let's use L'Hopital's rule. So limit as x goes to infinity of ln x over x is limit as x goes to infinity of uh, 1 upon x, which is 0. So this limit is going to be 2, yeah, which is greater than 0, is a fixed number, is a constant. Therefore, summation a n and b n both converge or both diverge. However, summation b n diverges. Yeah, why does it diverges? P series with p equals to one. Therefore, summation a n diverges.